What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out this toy lock from Lippard. Now this version of it's gonna mount in your stay pocket on your truck, and that way you have a retractable cable lock that you can run through these items that are in the back of your truck just to keep anybody from messing with them when you're not around. Let's check it out. The main part is this is gonna be this cable lock itself. It's got a PVC coating, that way it protects your items when you run it through the handles you can see as we did here. That way it's not gonna scratch anything up because it is abraded steel on the inside of the cable. So that is textured and you don't want that rubbing up and scratching everything that you run the cable through. So that PVC is gonna protect against that. It's gonna be 15 feet of cable too. So keep that in mind with however much you wanna tie down in the back of your truck or if you have your truck parked, maybe you're tailgating, you could run through some stuff around here on the outside. That way, if you need to step away for a second, everything's gonna be in the same place when you come back. Now how it locks up is it comes with a padlock that's gonna to attach to this bracket here. So you can run the cable all the way through the handles of the blower and the propane tank and the gasoline can, bring it back here and lock it up. Or you can actually lock the cable on itself, just loop it around, use the padlock and lock it on that last section. So maybe we'd lock it around the handle of the gas can at the other end, or use another tie down point at the other end of the truck bread. There is an included padlock. I'm gonna remove that to show you get you a better view of what I'm gonna be talking about here, where it attaches. So I ran this padlock through the hole at the end of the cable, and this bracket is what it locks to. So if you're gonna run through all the handles of your stuff and lock it up, this is where it locks and keeps it locked up there. Now there is another option. Get that out of there. You can tie it to itself like this with the cable lock, and also lock it up that way. Let's check out how it functions. So I'm gonna pull it out as much as it can. Just right there. You can see as I pull it and unlock it, it retracts right in on itself. Now to get it to stop, you pull out, you're gonna hear a couple clicks. Then you let go and it stays in place like that. So now it's not gonna retract. And to get it to retract, you just pull it, you'll hear more clicks. And now it feeds back into itself, keeping everything nice and neat right there. The housing for the cable lock is made out of nylon. It's pretty heavy duty. You can see me knocking on it. You can kind of hear that it's heavy duty. It's actually heavy when you lift it too. So you know that if I drop it, it's not gonna crack and this shell is just gonna break off. It seems pretty heavy duty. It can last through that. And that's good if it's gonna stay here on the back of your truck. Now we use the bounding plate kit here that goes in the stake pocket. So that's how we have it attached. You drop a block down in there and tighten this down to it. And that's gonna keep it right there in your truck bed. It comes with the hardware to install it a couple different ways. The one way is to use this block, put that down in the stake pocket, run the bolt through, and this will hold up and push up against that stake pocket. Now we had a few issues getting this to fit on a few different trucks today. So we use the other method is where you have a rubber block that goes down into the stake pocket with another plate on the other side and as you tighten it down it compresses the block which spreads it out and takes up that space keeping it in place right there. Now it's not a perfect fit you can see the movement here but it's not going to come out of there and even if they did pry it out of there you would still have all your stuff locked so it would still be a hassle. I think most people are just going to take a look see the cable, cable lock and all the stuff in the back of your truck and just walk on to the next truck that doesn't have one. You're going to get a special bit with it to actually tighten it down so just in case you're wondering about that screw up top it's gonna be this special bit, so they're gonna to have to have this to remove it, so it's not just the standard bolt that anybody can take out. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool idea. It's nice to have that security in your bed if you don't have a tunnel cover or anything like that to lock it up. This cable, I like that it retracts and stores into itself, because you could get a 15 feet cable lock and just leave it in the back of your truck and run it through the attachment points back there, but you'd still have to roll that up and find somewhere to put it every time you were done with it or put it back in the truck. This way, it all stores nice and easily in itself. And it's kind of up and out of the way, allowing you to still use your truck bed. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.